Good morning. Um, I'm somebody who has taught for many years in the political science department at the University of Utah with a particular focus on Latin America and its politics. The course that I'm proposing is one that deals with one of the most important countries in Latin America, Argentina, a country which for most of its history has been the richest country, the highest standard of living in Latin America. Nevertheless, it has had major problems. Without being or meaning to be too humorous, I thought a good title for the class might be Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. <laughs> Which I'm sure for some of you at least refers to one very important woman who was married to one of the most important 20th century politicians. This is Eva or Evita Perón, the second wife of Juan Perón, who founded the most important political party in Argentina, the so-called Peronist Party, or more technically, the Party of Justice, the Partido Justicialista. Anyway, last spring, I taught another course for Osher dealing with two other Latin American countries and what I propose doing here in format will be quite similar. Namely, I think from an educational point of view, we want to encourage people to say what they're thinking, how they respond to what we want to be talking about. That is a discussion format as opposed to anything like a lecture. We're not going to be lecturing in there. And where the focus of the class, in terms of Argentina, will be dealing with its politics and particularly with democracy in Argentina. Argentina has had a variety of changes in its politics. At some points in time, it has had military dictatorships of a very nasty variety. Other times, including the present, it has had democracy. The current democracy in Argentina dates from 1983 and is the longest lasting democracy in the country's history. So I suppose this is an element of success. Nevertheless, there have been key problems, especially problems dealing with who gets what, how, and when, namely money, namely economics things like inflation and the like. In addition to talking about, say, somebody like the Perones or Evita, we might want to throw into, because Evita was active in politics from the time she married Perón in 1945 to her death prematurely in 1952, we might want to talk briefly about in a new democracy that occurred, Perón's third wife in the 1970s, Isabelita Perón. And then finally, a third woman politician of great significance, the current president of Argentina, Cristina Kirchner, whose husband had preceded her as president of the country, and where she is now finishing her second term in politics. Why look at Argentina? What is there to be seen there? Well, I mentioned something about the high standard of living. Here is a country that is highly European in terms of its population. Most of the country's population came from somewhere, Spain, or Italy. And we're going to see not only Argentine steaks, the perhaps best beef steaks in the world, my bias, but also wonderful Italian food, 
be it pasta or Italian pastry. Yes, you could throw in a little wine if you're inclined. Okay. It's a sophisticated society. People travel. It has a large middle class. It's an interesting place to visit. I recommend it if anybody has the time and the interest. I've been there many times. I have various people, friends who I've known, talked about politics with, met up. And probably, if things work out, an Argentine friend of mine may be visiting in the class in the first week. And it'd be interesting to see how she would respond to your questions. Anyway, three women of particular importance, despite the fact that Argentina and other countries in Latin America are usually thought of as being very macho. How do you explain this? What's going on here? Anyway, we shall look at the politics of this country. We shall evaluate what goes right, what goes wrong. We shall look at its democracy, perhaps in comparison to democracies in other Latin American countries, at least briefly at the beginning. I'm finished. Thank you very much.